When I come upon something new or some kind of discovery, it means there's new hope. There's new hope for better treatments. And so I love doing the research. I have a passion for the research to really try to help people who have bipolar disorder and to decrease their suffering. Receiving this Colvin Prize is really deeply meaningful to me. This award says to me that the study of bipolar disorder in the brain has been really important and it continues to be really important. I direct the Mood Disorders Research Program at Yale and the focus of our research is to do magnetic resonance imaging scanning to try to understand the brain circuitry of bipolar disorder. So we can get a better sense of where we might want to target for new treatments. We want to show that there are differences in parts of the brain that are important in emotion regulation like the amygdala, which is an area deep in the brain, important in regulating emotions. And then there's a part of the brain in the frontal cortex, the front of the brain, that regulate impulses and generate some of the symptoms of bipolar disorder. What we're doing in our current research is we're following individuals over time. And that helps to show us how the differences in the brain develop in bipolar disorder. We found that there were differences in the brain, even in youths with bipolar disorder, and that's really important because if we can catch those differences early, then we may be able to prevent the suffering of bipolar disorder. And what I hope to do is to honor the award as best I can by doing the best work that I can, by training new young researchers who I think are gonna have very important answers for us about the causes of the disorders and cures.